they harped on the idea of like, you know, we, we lost that series in, in the fall. We want to be able to show that improvement. If they want to make a deep run in the bracket here, they need a dominant performance here. They take this series, and then all those doubts go out the window. Can they do it? Game number four, we're about to find out. And Correo almost had an angle onto the ball. He didn't have any boost. Would have been a nice transition opener for Maryland. They do find themselves in the orange half here in the first 30 seconds. That ball getting away from Relax. Relax finds his way back to it is pre. He was just way off on the ball on that one, forced Creo to have to try to make a challenge. Well, but he is doing what I just wanted. There were a couple of situations last game where Maryland really would have benefited from trying to force a dribble. Preet just did exactly that in the corner. While he may not have won, they didn't put themselves in a bad spot. Nice to him in the midfield, and Preet trying to buy more time. Tip for Teddy Zio, not the cleanest takeoff. Needs help off the back wall, and Creo a little too slow, relaxed to the midfield. And boomed out to the side again. Trying to find it. Oh, Urena, oh, huge fake. No better way to say it, boys. Bye One bye. nothing for Red Salir. Bye bye. <laughs> Look at this right here, just whoop! <laughs> and he had him beat too. Yeah. He had Furane beat too, and he missed the ball, and Furane says, hey, man, that's on you, buddy. You actually hate to see it. <laughs> the moment you see it. I don't know, that was pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you see that blue car scream off the right side of the screen, just like. 1-0. Yep, 1-0. Yep, no. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but Furian, he's definitely picked up the shooting accuracy as well. Pass across. Denied by Creo, but It's Furian. a double commit, though, and they keep it in play. I just I just took over right there. She <laughs> it doesn't matter. Trying to make that point. I thought something was going to develop out of it. but I don't blame you. It looked good. The engineers with Furane off the ceiling, and Furane absolutely has picked up the shooting accuracy. Yes. And generally, it's just improved. Uh, in the last few months that we've seen, when we saw this Rensselaer team last time, you know, it's the same thing we say for a lot of CRL teams. Some ups, some downs, and really you had a middle of the, low, uh, middle of the road performance in the fall, but they definitely look like a more cohesive Whoa. unit, like Relax was saying in the pre-game uh, pre interview. And Corky there, maybe a little risky, but trusted his teammate to come out from behind and go challenge that ball. But that was kind of what we were wanting to focus on at the start of the game was how did Creo and Corky both feel on both of these teams since both of them were like, hey, they've picked it up. They've really improved over the off season. And so far, the big difference I see is Corky's really been able to get a lot more involved in the offense. Obviously, you can credit that to Furane and Relax putting on some solid pressure. But in general, that aggressiveness has paid off well, but this time it's the other way around. Creo wins a 1-2 out of the corner, and it is all tied up. Yeah, Furane, Furane tried to get back to that ball, but he was just getting harassed from behind, and Creo comes in, makes a solid touch. It wasn't an easy touch that he had to make in traffic and got it on target. Well played by the Terps. Sometimes you just got to pop off for your team, and it's like, all right, let's go. All right, we, we're going to tie it up. I make the play. I wrap it around the pitch. I challenge the net. Get the goal. Let's keep this momentum going. Can they force out game number five? A big whiff allows Furane to move in for Double this. as well. Another one for the Terps. It just continues for this team. A pass downfield. Nice walk that time by Creo. Beautiful read from Creo. Well aware of where the passing lane was. Went and shut it down immediately. However, that clear from Pre doing them no favors. Relax steals away the follow through. And one more into the top of the box. And tipped aside, Teddy Zio. Find a little bit of a gap to work with. Ter Terps are still hoppy on defense. They really need to find a way in right now. Creo ran oh, out of boost, got, got a shot on target. It's saved there by Furane. And Rensselaer able to move back down the pitch. Well, they're trying to set up a tent in the midfield line, but Relax is facing the wrong way, and Creo would have liked to see a more powerful touch, maybe off the back wall, really increase the pressure on the Terps right there. But either way, or on Rensselaer, excuse me and Rensselaer to Fury. And everybody on the Terps were forced back to their own end because everybody was out of boost. Now, this is a chance for the engineers to really start to stack the pressure. Relax has that shot, it is blocked out to the corner, and now they press the assault. Creo trying to keep close to it the whole way, picked Ooh. up by Furain. Pre has it on Ooh. the backside, but there's a demo, pass back over to Relax to keep the play alive here for the engineers. Not the best touch from Creo. Teddy Zio has to get it out, and a good touch from him to bail out the Terps. And Ooh. he's by one defender. Can he get by another? It's open season Yo. for Creo. The shot's in, and Maryland take the lead. And they just have enough to get the job done. Furane was so close in that midfield challenge. Corky coming through on the replay, but Relax thinking he has time to go grab the boost in the corner. Instead of sitting on the line, leaves the net. 
and it will cost him. You got to give it up to Teddy to, to bounce back in a way he did. Game, the first goal of this game, it's like, oh, all right, guys, I just missed the ball. To be able to make that opportunity to dribble past the defender, to bounce it off the back wall and say, slam this one home, boys. Teddy Zio showing up for the team. If you're the engineers, you want to close this out right now. You want to first find this tying goal. You got some time to do it. And going to game five is not something you want when you're at series advantage right now. That shot blocked for now. Creo keeping that out to the corner. Creo couldn't find the second touch there. Coming down is relaxed, looking for Furane. He's got him. Furane back to this ball. Can he get there? Well, Preet and Creo working to try to clear this ball away. And Furane and Corky bump into each other on the play. Corky able to make a challenge, but still here come the Terps. They get another goal here. It will With be Teddy. the end oh. of game four. Creo still there and pressure out to Teddy Zio. No goal here for the Terps just yet, but the demo keeps things alive. And one more chance for the engineers. One more chance is right. Corky just punched him off the ball, and Furane gets one last chance. It's, it's a beautiful roll as well. Preet misses the read. He's going to need some help, unless he wants a ground pitch to relax and kicked off the wall. Creo somehow got there, and Maryland has.